Ernesto Bertarelli is an entrepreneur of Swiss and Italian descent who's estimated to be worth $8.5 billion. He is the wealthiest billionaire in Switzerland. To say that Ernesto Bertarelli has spent most of his life putting in long hours of work is an understatement. Surprisingly, he started working for his father's pharmaceutical firm, Serono, when he was only six years old. His first task was to hand out trophies to the company's employees of the year. And by the age of 31, Bertarelli had succeeded his father as Serono's CEO. But is this how he got so rich? He is now the 81st richest person in the world, as he rose to notoriety after he discovered a natural hormone that's used to cure female infertility. And since Ernesto took over as CEO of his family's company Serono in 1996, the company's annual revenue has climbed from $809 million to $2.8 billion by 2006. In acknowledgement of Bertarelli's achievements, French President Jacques Chirac bestowed upon him the Légion d'honneur. And by the way, in addition to launching the healthcare investment company Ares Life Sciences in 2008, he made a total of $680 million in the sector. And despite his interest in biotechnology, Bertarelli founded the sailing syndicate Team Alinghi in the year 2000. Luckily, in 2003, this group went on to triumph in the Louis Vuitton Cup. Anyway, he got married to songwriter Kirsty Roper, who won the title of Miss United Kingdom in 1988. However, they've already divorced but have three children together. He's also a guy who loves engaging in different activities. In 2010, he stated in an interview with the Financial Times that it's vital to have other activities, not merely work. So, one of Bertarelli's other things is a sizable collection of modern and contemporary art that he's amassed over the years. He is extremely discreet about his collection, despite the fact that he's one of the top 200 collectors in the world. And that's not all. Guess what? He also loves sailing. Besides that, he now serves as the controlling shareholder of Alinghi, a world-class sailing team that's won America's Cup two years in a row at the cost of over $100 million per season. He confessed his interest in sailing during an interview with the Financial Times, where he made the claim that he began sailing before he was even able to walk. It might be true because of the fact that his father was a sailor, and his family spent the summer vacations aboard a yacht every year. Actually, for Ernesto, a toy boat was his previous mode of transportation until he got a motorbike. And now you might be wondering, what kind of properties does he own? Well, Ernesto is the proud owner of a luxurious property that's situated on the shores of Lake Geneva in his home country of Switzerland. We can only guess that he chose to make his home here due to the region's notoriety as a yachting hotspot. His primary residence is a chalet complex that was purchased for $9 million. It's an extravagant house that's situated in close proximity to a number of his other lavish estates. It has expansive grounds that include a lake, a garage, and a swimming pool, as well as some auxiliary amenities for the staff. The house also has a number of animals that are kept as pets, such as horses, six llamas, two alpacas, goats, donkeys, and tortoises. He also owns a home in the posh neighborhood of Knightsbridge, which is located to the west of the core of London. But what about his favorite yachts? Well, did you know that Ernesti, a wealthy and distinguished individual, has used a 155-foot feedship barber yacht, which made its debut in 1996 as his personal playground. Due to the fact that Ernesti and his ex-wife Kirsty were first acquainted with one another when they were both aboard this boat, the yacht holds a considerable amount of significance for both of them. However, Ernesto splurged an amazing 100 million US dollars on a massive 96-meter boat that is dubbed Varvar 2. The yacht's length of 96 meters places it in the position of the world's 33rd longest overall vessel, making it the largest privately owned vessel that's ever been built in the United Kingdom. The construction of the vessel that would later be given the name Varvar 2 took place at Plymouth's Devonport Dockyard over the course of two years and involved the efforts of more than 200 talented personnel. The luxurious boat has six stories and has roomy bedrooms, a retractable beach club, and a swimming pool with a depth control system. Moreover, there's a landing pad for helicopters, as well as four boats for the transfer of passengers to the coast. Remy Tessier was responsible for the interior design, while Hampshire-based specialist Redmond Whiteley Dixon was responsible for the exterior design of the boat. Something else he engages in is the Bertarelli Foundation, an organization that puts an emphasis on marine research and preservation. He's currently serving as the co-chair together with his sister. 
The Bertarelli Foundation is actively engaged in a wide variety of charitable activities all around the world, and it contributes to causes concerning medical treatment and the preservation of marine life. Actually, the Foundation is responsible for supporting the largest marine reserve in the Chagos Islands. The islands can be found in the midst of the Indian Ocean. Let's say it helps to the protection of an area that's approximately 210,000 square miles in size. Furthermore, the Eco Polytechnique Federal de Lausanne benefits from the Foundation's aid. And the aim is to further the knowledge of biological processes within the field of neurology. And by the way, he has a position on the Board of Governors of a prestigious Swiss university. He seems like a pretty incredible person. Anyway, what fascinated you the most about him?